So I take omnes. I'm gonna go over the uh, basic, uh, going over the basics of the adjective practice with you all here. Um, so this is just a nice start. This is very similar to the notes that we took about adjectives. It's gonna be a good refresher just to kind of get you engaged back in with exactly what we're gonna be reading. Um, so we got uh, a few things. Adjectives always agree in case, number, gender. C and G. Case is how the word is being used in the sentence. So we got the nominative case, which is used for subjects. The genitive, which we won't have, not for a little bit, is for possession. The dative is used for indirect objects. So think of words like give, uh, bring, carry, uh, tell, hand over. All of those take datives. The accusative is used for direct objects. And after odd or pair, which is through. The ablative is used for prepositions. So we have the words like cum, in, x. Those are the prepositions we've had so far. And then the number is either singular or plural. So if it's one or more than one. The gender is got a match in gender. So if it's a masculine noun, you can't describe a masculine noun with a feminine adjective. You can't describe a neuter adjective or neuter noun with a masculine adjective. It just doesn't work that way. You have to match in case, number, gender. Um, so we get our stem from the second part of an adjective and then taking out the case ending like an A or an IS. So we get words like pulker. If I take the A, the stem equals pulker. This is a first and second declension adjective. It uses those declensions as its endings. Wow, I can't put the little bracket there. Whatever. Um, it's a first and second because it has the A in the second part. So now, I know it's first and second declension. I'm going to match it with the word onculum. Onculum is a slave girl, so that makes sense that the gender of a slave girl is feminine. Now the case, it's got an AM. If you look in the charts, AM, whoops, is accusative. So that's accusative. And if you look at the charts, it'll tell you it's singular. So now I got to use my accusative, singular, feminine ending. This is feminine. We use the first declension. Masculine, we use the second declension, masculine. And neuter, we use the second declension, neuter. If it's a first and second declension adjective like Polker. Uh, so this one would just be full rum with an AM because it matches in case, number, gender. Mollus is the word for bad. Uh, Mollus has an A, so this is a one and two, just like pull care. And so I take off the stat A and I get mall. And if I wanted to use anything, I use first declension, second declension, third declension. I do not use third declension if it's not a third declension now. Um, so going on to the practice. So I give you a lot and I kind of take out some of these things. So that way you can kind of remember and practice either recognizing what the gender is, what the case is, uh, what the number is. And then you'll be making those matching forms. So Patogos with an AS is accusative. It's accusative, plural, and feminine. So the stem for pulcherima, you just take off the A, and then this matching form is pulcherimam, or as, excuse me, A-S. Mollus, we just did mollus, so the stem is mol. Uh, regum is a king, so a king is masculine, it's not a queen, it's a king. Uh, so our matching form would be small um with a um because that's our accusative masculine singular ending in the second function small um dominam is a female master so it only makes sense that the gender is female and with an am that's accusative it's got a uh, stem for erratus oh it's just like mollus you take off the a that's the stem so the matching form is erat Tom with an AM. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, pater and mater, philium. Philium is a son, so the UM 
uh, is singular. It's accusative. It's masculine. No we are has an is. So this is our first third declension. We take off the is, and then we use our third declension ending. So no we or em would be our ending. I don't want to do that. Em. Senatory. This is a word we had. Uh, we didn't learn in Latin one because we didn't get to it. But senatory is a senator. And the gender of a senator is masculine in ancient Rome. Uh, benignus is our adjective. It's got an A, so that means it's one and two. So I take benigned. And then, okay, we got to make a dative, singular, masculine. I'm going to use the second declension. So it's benign. No, it's an O. Volubilis clamat domatilla mihi osculum dot. Osculum, uh, that's the word for kiss, neuter. Uh, that one I'll tell you because you probably don't remember. But this case, if it's domatilla dot, she's the one giving. You can't, you can't, a kiss can't give somebody. A person can give a kiss. So that makes this one accusative. Dulcus has an is. So it's dulc. And then you'd put dulc. M. With an em. Uh, Boes, um, uh, these are masculine, but it's third declension, so the gender doesn't matter too much because third declension has all the genders. And then this one is accusative because Bragans is doing the action. Ferox is at third declension. The stem for this one is Ferox. And then the matching form would be Ferocem Bo, uh, Ferocase Boes. So this would be the uh, most beautiful togas, the bad king, the angry mistress, the newer son, the more new son, the kind senator, the sweet kiss, and then the ferocious bulls. I hope this was helpful. Make sure that you complete this along with your self-reflection, and I'll see you all later. Wale.